Hi, this is Joe Panarelli. I'm going to be discussing Multino 3 implantation. This is a glaucoma drainage device uh, procedure that I'm going to walk you through the basic steps of. You'll see here we always start with the placement of a 6 vicral traction stitch that allows for uh, enhanced exposure. I like to open up in the horizontal meridian and continue my dissection up past the 12 o'clock area and maybe go at just an additional clock hour before making a second relaxing incision. The supratemporal quadrant is my preferred quadrant of choice for implantation, and if this is not suitable, uh, I will move to the infranasal quadrant. You'll see here this patient had a prior subconjunctival MIGS procedure, and therefore there's a little more scarring. I do like to apply adequate cautery after I've uh, freed up a lot of the scar tissue. I do like to hook both the superior and lateral rectus muscles and free them from their tenons uh, attachments. I then will take the implant and place it in the superior temporal quadrant. One of the nice things about the Multino is that it really hugs the globe nicely. So uh, as you tuck it back into the quadrant, it really doesn't move forward all that much. And that makes it a little bit easier as you're performing this step, which is uh, placement of the temporary ligature to uh, allow for time for the implant to encapsulate. So, you know, it's very important for these non-valved implants to have this uh, ligature uh, in place and it needs to be watertight. And as you saw there, we just confirmed it by priming it with balanced salt solution on a cannula and we saw that there was no uh, movement of fluid posterior to that ligature. The implant needs to be secured approximately 8 to 10 millimeters posterior to the limbus. I think the more back you get the implant placed, the better flow you get, and the there is a lower likelihood that you're going to end up with a case of postoperative strabismus. You'll see here we want to make sure that the implant is secured in place. Uh, we are passing two 80 nylon sutures. The knots of this non-absorbable suture need to be rotated into the eyelet so that we don't end up with erosion or extrusion of these knots uh, down the road. Uh, after the implant is secured in place um, and the knots are rotated, I do like to tug on the implant slightly just to make sure that it is uh, securely in place. Uh, after this part, we will move on to implantation of the tube in the anterior chamber. And so you'll see here, we just sort of gently grab the implant, double check our knots, and then we will uh, pull the eye back into primary position. We're now going to trim the tube with a sharp Westcott scissor. We want to be careful to make sure that the tube is not too short. We bend a 23 gauge needle, make a tunnel track into the eye, and then we insert the tube. And, you know, ideally the tube is about two millimeters in the anterior chamber. We want to make sure it's parallel to the iris plane and far away from the corneal endothelium. Given this is a non-valved implant, we need some method to control the pressure early on. And so I'll pass a 10 ovicle stitch just proximal to the uh, occluding ligature, and I want to see this nice percolation of fluid uh, through uh, that fenestration. A corneal patch graft is then sutured in place uh, over the tubing, uh, and this is to prevent erosion of the tube down the road. I do like to tunnel my tubes closer to 12 o'clock as I find that you get better coverage with the upper eyelid and again a lower likelihood that this tube is going to erode uh, in the future. The final step of the case will be to close the conjunctiva. Uh, at this point, I will often loosen the speculum, bring the eye back up into the primary position, and try to advance the conjunctiva up to the limbus. Once the conj is in place, we'll close each of the relaxing incisions with a running 80 vicral suture. I typically will try to get deep bites for the first two or three bites so that the tissue is less likely to cheese wire, and then take more superficial bites as we are getting further posterior from the limbus. Uh, once we have uh, a nice closure, uh, we will inject an antibiotic and steroid uh, mixture beneath the inferior conjunctiva and palpate the globe to make sure that the pressure is where we want it, which is in the low to mid-teens.